Hello everyone, this is a look at the LEGO Creator set called Daredevil Stunt Plane. Now it's a three-in-one set, so you can build any one of these three possibilities at a time. I went ahead and bought three of them so I could show you all three side by side, but let's first look at the main build, which is the biplane in the center there. I think this could not be a more clear callback to the 1993 LEGO system set called Aerial Acrobats. It definitely follows along with that kind of evil Knievel style of, of color scheme. It's the biplane. Very different build than the old one though. And being from the creator line, they're a little bit different with their proportions and such. And of course, they need to design each build to each main build of, of any of these three-in-ones to accommodate the other smaller builds. This uses a very limited number of specialized pieces. You don't have any real aircraft specific pieces here. Maybe you could consider that tail gear piece to be kind of an aircraft piece, but for the most part, this is stuff that is used in all sorts of different things. I've got a relatively recent bar piece used over here. Good use of these printed one by one round tiles. You got a bunch of those in the set. I've got exhaust coming out of the exhaust ports around the sides of the engine rather than actual exhaust pipes. This is a new color for the roll cage, the uh, forklift style roll cage uh, done in white here. And it's actually clipped down on both sides. And you have a little bit of dihedral to the lower wings, which is a nice thing to see rather than just having them being completely parallel. And speaking of, you know, nice things in terms of wing shape, they have a little bit of aerofoil shape as well with the, the curvature. That's done pretty nicely in within the space of just the thickness of, of two plates. So good on them there. Also, you have posable ailerons. That's nice. Didn't have to be there, but I'm very glad that they did include that. You're not able to turn the rudder back and forth, but a little bit of nice studs on the top. <laughs> well, yeah, studs on the front uh, construction and attached onto the top with, with clips. Uh, the proportions, again, are, are funky. I actually like what they've done with the main gear here with the relatively recent macaroni, redesigned macaroni pieces in white. And also these parts, I haven't seen these pieces here done in white before. They have the axle going through, so it's just a very small, good uh, adapter piece to have in Technic form. And there's plenty of studded space on the top of this wing, so if you want to put your pilot up there, you know, have him get out of the cockpit and then just, you know, kind of show off as it goes by, or if you have a second figure that you want to add into the scene, put that up there, put a couple of figures side by side, have a whole bunch of figures stacked up, doing a whole formation, you know, lots of possibilities there. And yet, it does have quite a lot of, of smooth surface as well, so a little bit of a compromise, a good compromise between studded surfaces and smooth surfaces. I like this balance that they've struck here. Even has a small printed piece in the cockpit, for either airspeed or altitude, but I uh, just want to take this guy out so you can see that a little bit more clearly. You can actually put the flight stick into the hand of the figure. It's a little bit of a tight squeeze, but it works. Overall, I think the design is pretty nice. With the figure, they tried to capture a bit of that gaudy 1970s daredevil kind of look with the torso, but other than that, no other prints. So. Just the torso is pretty much the only thing to look at here. It's nice that they did include the, the goggles piece with the standard helmet. You know, it's a nice combination. I don't think we've seen that much before, if, if ever in an official set, to my recollection. The belt is looking a little bit too much like a Santa Claus belt to me, though. That's one thing I don't like. Got a little bit of print on the back. I think could have used just a little bit more detail for that fireball in the center. Just a little something else would have been nice. Kind of looks like a... Uh, a little too much of just a stencil trace there. No alternate face for that fairly common head, but there's just a clearer look at his expression. This is the larger of the two alternate builds, and it leaves a lot of pieces behind. It's much, much smaller, and yet it's not too incredibly dense. I think it's a little bit more of a, a dense build than some alternate builds tend to be, but still it's just you know, physically small. Little rocket planes intended to go super, super fast with the real short, stubby winglets there. Uh, 
maybe it's not even yeah i think it's supposed to be a maneuverable plane so it would have elevons back here or something like that ailerators <laughs> uh, there's the the rocket with just a little bit of plume of smoke coming out either it's just being or just about to be started up or it has just returned from a flight you would expect this to have a very short burn but i think i think this looks pretty decent for what it is the overall shaping is good the only thing i don't like about this at all is how his head sticks up Ah, if only the dude could have sat down lower. There actually is room in here. I don't know if the the included pieces can be perfectly organized, but I think that uh, with a little bit of modification, without adding any new parts in here, I think you could actually get the guy to sit a little bit lower. Uh, the the thing that's really holding him back ultimately is the width of the arms, but I think you could get it to go just one plate lower. You know, leaving just that clearance underneath his elbows there, it would look a little bit better. But mm, that's that's tough. That's a that's a, a tough compromise to make. But the overall shape of the thing, I think, is pretty appropriate. And you can fold up the wings. Uh, if you have like a trailer, it would be good to to put this onto a trailer to actually transport it. You can easily turn the wheels back as well. You know, the the main gear, turn them back, and then just put it on a trailer like that for transport. Maybe they'll make a set that'll work especially well with this. I think there are a couple already on the market, a couple more coming as well. This is a little bit flimsy back here, but uh, I don't know. I think it works. I think it works just fine. The last build is obviously a boat with a big old internal combustion engine on it. I'm assuming with the, the pipes, but maybe it actually has an internal combustion engine and a rocket at the same time or uh, a jet as well or something. I don't know exactly what's going on for the propulsion unit there, but it looks like it's supposed to be super powerful. And he's got a big old uh, cage around it to help hold all that stuff in. I think the, the shaping on the front of this is pretty nice. It's not perfect, but for the pieces included, I think they've brought them together in nice ways. It's nice to get a couple more of those one by two double uh, slanted pieces that are used right up at the, the tip in red. Uh, I think uh, we haven't gotten too many sets with those in that color at all to this point. Um, this does not have any inverted tiles on the underside like they sometimes do. The nice smooth round ones to make it easier to go over carpet and such. So this will get a little bit caught if you try to, to play with it on, on carpet and have it actually going around. Uh, but if you have any inverted tiles, in inverted round tiles, I strongly recommend putting two of them on there and that'll improve the play value quite a lot. Once again, he's able to actually hold on to something though. Uh, I don't know if that's supposed to be like a, a hydraulic tiller unit or if that's supposed to be the throttle and then you kind of pretend that the console over there is the steering wheel. It's a fun set to build, to look at, and to kind of play around with. And to me, I think it has a, a great selection of parts and gives you a lot of inspiration to try different builds. You can definitely make a lot of different things with this. And certainly if you add just one more wheel in some way, you can start to make some some cars and, and such as well. But there are just a lot of things you can do with these parts. At the very least, it gives you some nice pieces in some newer or rare colors. And at best, it can give you potentially hours of just inspired play and, and building and creativity. I mean, there's so much stuff that goes into the, the main build itself that, like I said, each of these smaller builds leaves like two thirds to three quarters of the parts behind. So there's, there's a lot that definitely could be made out of this. And hopefully this will be just the starting point for a lot of builders. That's the Daredevil Stunt Plane. Hope that you enjoyed this review. Hope I showed you everything you wanted to see with each of these builds. And I'm going to get to work on my next video, which will be coming out very soon. Talk to you then.